Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Today, 24th of June 2020, we will see the Italian and the international papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus. I hope you are doing well guys, two days after Bologna Juve 0-2. Finally we breathe, you know, it's fine and then we can concentrate about other news and more about good news or calcio mercato instead of negativity and that's always nice to start with. Today it's an important day, why? Because Juventus is not playing but Inter and Lazio are playing. Inter versus Sassuolo, I believe Inter should have the three points and continue to follow us and then Lazio is playing against Atalanta in Bergamo. That will be a big, big match that we don't have to miss so we start with Corriero dello Sport rincorsa Scudetto it means that you know now the Scudetto race has started and that's what they are saying they are speaking about Conte that will fight until the end fino alla fine strange to see those words next to Conte who is actually the Inter trainer so uh, yes maybe he's training Inter but he doesn't forget the fino alla fine even at Inter Inter is becoming more and more a copy of Juve a bad copy for sure and then we see Inzaghi that wants the spirit of before the lockdown pay attention Lazio because they didn't play since so long so that can be really dangerous for them are they speaking about uh, Juventus about that no not really but then you are looking in the bottom left corner and what they are showing Frank Ribéry and they are saying super Frank so different from Ronaldo I don't understand it you know how can you compare Ribéry who was and is a great player yes okay but with Ronaldo I don't really see the link and I don't even want to go in detail about that so that's for Corriere dello Sport and then we have nothing on Gazzetta dello Sport so I will not speak about it but Tutto Sport Tutto Sport is actually speaking about the problem we have at the left back and they are saying there are four men for the wings they are speaking about Matuidi they are speaking about, uh, let's see the other names, uh, the young guys, Wesley, Fabrota and Berwato, players from the youth. They are saying that we have problems with De Chilio, Alexandro and Danilo that are out. So those men's, those names are there for the left back position. Pay attention because that's really important to understand. Berwato and uh, Fabrotto are players from under 23 and those guys has a final of Coppa Italia, not the big Coppa Italia but a small Coppa Italia um, so they have a final on Saturday so I'm not sure that Sarri will take them also with them knowing that we play on Saturday a final so pay attention to that I don't believe that those names will be there Wesley instead can be uh, with, with Juventus can be a name that we have to look for but I really believe uh, Matuidi will play on the left back it's one of our only solutions so that's what the uh, Corriere dello Sport are saying and then we go to Mercato because yesterday suddenly we had a big news a big name Arthur so let's see if there are effectively some news so sport uh, Spanish paper is saying Arthur muy cerca de la Juventus Arthur is really really close to Juventus uh, we see and we continue because yesterday it was actually Sky Sport a UK the English version of uh, Sky Sport who was actually saying breaking Juventus has a deal for 80 million euro with Barcelona uh, I, I made a video about it yesterday and actually when you go into detail you see that no they have no deal with the player they start to have a deal with Barcelona but it's not over yet it's not a done deal Gianluca Di Marzio yesterday evening was saying accordo sempre più vicino per lo scambio and that's a bit more realistic he's saying that yes the deal is more and more closer to be done but it's not over yet they are speaking about a value it depends where you look for but Gianluca Di Marzio was saying value of 60 million for Pjanic and then 75 for Arthur where uh, Juventus will pay 70 plus 5 of bonus uh, to Barcelona so that's what uh, actually Arturo uh, Gianluca Di Marzo is saying and then really important because yesterday Arthur start, started the game with Barcelona he played 56 minutes and the Twitter sphere, everyone was talking about his really bad performance. Everyone was saying, is that a player that we want for 80 million euro? No, thank you. That's what they were saying. But then you see the trainer of Barcelona, Setien, who was as, uh, as actually saying that, uh, yes, the voices, the rumors, the Mercato rumors from Arthur linked to uh, Juventus can 
be a problem for him so he will talk with him and he will try to recuperate him for the final of the season so not over because yesterday and that's an important one Kuluzevsky was also everywhere on the web because he scored the, uh, I believe it was the 4-1 and then we saw some statistics one goal three key passes four successful dribbles and so on and so on Kulusevski will join Juventus from next season on we are already voting for 40 million euros the funny thing here is that actually everyone was criticizing him Juventus uh Tifosi supporters and none because they were saying yet yeah, why did we pay so much for a player that is not playing well he was injured he's not playing uh, at the uh, top level blah 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 so really negativity about him yesterday he played really well he scored a goal and again it's a phenomenal so I like Kulusevski absolutely yes but guy be balanced when you're speaking about the player the same thing about Arthur it's not because one game is playing bad uh, that uh, he's a really bad player it's not because one play uh, one game is playing as a phenomenal that he is the top phenomenal so be balanced when you are judging and go in a totality a few last news uh, that are really important also regarding Juventus is Mandragora had an injury to his knee why is that affecting Juventus because Juventus already verbally promised uh, to Odinese to take Mandragora back for 26 million euro verbally where then we would have sold him again so it was a transitional phase so now that his injury will Juventus keep his verbal uh, promise maybe yes maybe no but if we keep that it will be really difficult to sell him at the same price that we had in mind so that's a, a, a difficult thing for Juventus also a, a negative news and we'll finish with the last one uh, Gazzetta was reporting that Buffon, Chiellini and Bonucci after the loss in Coppa Italia versus Napoli had a speech with the team to say that we have to stick together that we have to play better and GG Buffon spoke also with Ronaldo Ronaldo to explaining that okay the differences with Sarri we have to put them aside because we have to win at least the Scudetto and that's we all hope so guys thank you for watching the channel thank you for subscribing for liking the video put in the comments because we spoke about so many things today put it in the comments what you think thank you Forza Juve